Cami's located in Ingersoll and the workers come from all different directions. I work at General Motors Cami. I actually met my spouse at Cami a month in. I have a stepdad that's retired, my mom's retired, my brother is in maintenance, and my spouse is in, uh, in chassis. Cami plant originally opened in 1989. It started off as a joint venture between Suzuki and GM and stayed that way up until 2010. And then we landed a program called the Equinox. It took off, things were booming. We lost a terrain um, in 2017. And it was announced that it was going to Mexico. If we went on strike that year, um, we wanted a replacement vehicle because we were down to one vehicle being the Equinox. And then it was announced that the Equinox would also be being produced in Mexico. We built it better, but they built it cheaper and we have all the awards. All of the people on the floor were able to be big contributors, tweaking it so that it could be a very well-oiled machine by the time that they were done with it and shipped it off somewhere else. And it will always be our truck. Then COVID hitting. With restrictions, with lockdowns, with uh, part shortages, with layoffs. The chip shortage ravished not only auto, but all of manufacturing. We went down for almost nine months. Other than a three week period when we could get chips in June, our members were hit hard. I mean, it's very sad to see some of the people, how broken they are from time that they have been off. And there's a lot of divorce, there's a lot of family issues because of that. Tim Hortons hurt, the restaurants hurt. November, December of 2020, got asked to go to a meeting. <laughs> it gets pretty emotional, but pretty well, the next month was pretty bad. We were basically told uh, that they were going to move the Equinox to Mexico. They gave us a two-year window that the plant was going to close, and they offered us a new program called Bright Drop. Either we buy into Bright Drop, or this plant's probably going to fold. And when that's on the table, you're not only thinking about your own mortgage, but you are thinking about the community money is donated by the local union and helps a lot of uh, organizations stay funded. All the feeder plants that are part of CAMI. Uh, we did the whole front end module for the Equinoxes for CAMI plant. They posted on the board in January of this year that Butcher will be closing. Yeah. Just when you become part of a family, I love the union. When you become part of the family, it and you have just the support and the people there, it's just hard to it's hard to walk away from, right? So, is this going to take off in the market? How is that going to impact us for production build? Are we going to build for a certain length of time and then get laid off? Is General Motors going to want to stay invested here in this community? They have to be smart about that in producing those vehicles here. You can't keep putting all the parts overseas. There's a whole workforce here. Unifor, they are working on the supplier jobs, the feeder jobs to find new avenues of employment. There's no more gas engines, but there'll be new parts, there'll be new possibilities. It's the mining, refining. We are very rich in minerals such as cobalt, graphite, and we could actually make a whole supply chain starting from the mining. We've talked to GM about why not pack the batteries and make the batteries right here in our own backyard. It would supply hundreds of jobs. Well, what do they do with the batteries? Why not start setting up a recycling depot, even in Ontario, before it becomes an issue? We want to harness the sun energy and to use solar, wind turbines, use that. We can use the technology we have now to help make the world a better place to live. So the government has thrown in hundreds of millions of dollars, which is a great first start. They made huge investments with Windsor, uh, and just going right down the 401, they've gone to the Cami plant in Ingersoll here, Oakville, uh, Brampton, Oshawa. It gets see some traction in the economy. The electrical component's gonna add uh, a whole new variety of skilled trades jobs. The big three can start different programs to try and get all of our skilled trades up to date. And I think with the unions there, not only do we try and help make things better for the working people, but we also have a say at the table. We have been working on an auto policy and it's based on five main pillars. It's available on the Unifor website or on their auto hub. As for our government, they really need a lot of uh, rebate on electric vehicles. We need 
our public spaces to accommodate the charge stations. We live out in the country on the farm and every couple hours you still see the delivery trucks going up and down the roads. It's the, the commercial market really is jumping in both feet and the, the sales that we're looking at with this vehicle as opposed to a passenger vehicle are going to be much higher right off the bat. Both skill trades and the production people, we will work very hard to um, bring up any ideas we can to make this work and be successful. There is a large retooling going on. It's usually two years to retool. In eight months, we are going to be full out producing bright drops as quick as we can possibly make them. I can't wait till I walk in the door December 1st to see all the changes in the plant. My kids, I often worry about what this planet is going to be like and what climate change is going to entail for them. Electric is the future. Because every plant and every manufacturer is starting to go that way um, to kind of be there first and to get you know all of the supplier plants on board with it and everything else. That Unifor Local 88 has been instrumental in working to make sure that we're back and we're building the next generation vehicle. With the shift to electric vehicle, the job market's going to be different, but Unifor will be on top of that, making sure that they're securing good jobs for us. I'm really proud of being part of Unifor Local 88, who's led us into the future. I believe the plant's not only going to have good paying jobs, but we're going to help the environment at the same time, and it's a win-win.